One of the places in my travel to-do list was Luray Caverns in Virginia. This caverns was discovered in 1878 and is the largest caverns in eastern United States. We visited this place in December 2021. We wanted to avoid the Washington DC traffic and so took route 202 and then 81. The drive was very peaceful and scenic. Luray Caverns is open throughout the year. Rain or shine, this place is operating all the time. You can buy the tickets online through their website or visitors can just go there and buy the tickets as well. Car parking is not a problem at all. There's a free parking lot and plenty of open spaces near the entrance. The underground world is open year round and easily navigated through guided tours and lighted pathways. We took a self-guided tour and the entire trek is around 1.5 miles long and can be completed in an hour. The caverns is constant at 54 degrees and it has a high humidity. So it feels like almost 65 degrees there. But I would recommend taking a light cardigan or light jacket with you. Wear appropriate shoes. Sneakers are preferred. Sometimes the pathways get slippery. The cavern system is generously adorned with stalactites, stalagmites, glowstone, columns, mud flows and mirror pools. The caverns are perhaps best known for the great stalactite organ. Well, at the entrance there is a photo booth so you can enjoy the family pictures and then get them while coming back. So I usually like taking the pictures and then putting them on fridge the magnets or printing them on mugs and so on it is not permitted to bring food and drink to the caverns snack and dining options are available in the welcome center visitors enter the cave via a path that curves downward through the caverns eventually reaching the dream lake dream lake is the largest body of water in the caverns However, its deepest point is not more than 18 to 20 inches. This sparkling lake creates a mirror image of the abundant stalactites hanging from the ceiling. Stalactites are reflected in the water, making them appear to be stalagmites. This illusion is often so convincing that people are unable to see the real bottom. It looks quite deep as stalactites are higher above the water, but its deepest point is only around 20 inches throughout the caverns there are enormous chambers that are filled with towering stone columns shimmering draperies and crystal clear pools glowstone draperies are abundant throughout the cavern formations of lura caverns are white in color if the calcium carbonate is in its pure form other colors reflect impurities in the calcite resulting from elements absorbed from the soil or rock layers reds and yellows due to iron and iron stain clays black from manganese dioxide blues and greens from the solution of copper compounds the cavern is yellow brown or red because of water chemicals and minerals the empress column is a stalagmite 35 feet high the double column is a classic example of the two basic cave formations the stalactite and stalagmite coming together as one massive wonder of nature so what are stalactites and stalagmites while they look the same stalactites are found on the cave ceiling and were formed as material like minerals mud and water dripped into the cave conversely stalagmites are found on the cave floors and they grow up towards the ceiling are made of the same material I was also impressed by the fallen column as you can see in the picture. Then the path led us to the great stalact pipe organ. The great stalact pipe organ is the world's largest musical instrument. It literally makes stalactites sing by gently tapping them throughout 3 acres of caverns. It's a musical masterpiece. We then came across a wishing well. It's such a magical experience. I love wishing wells. The idea of tossing a coin and then wishing for the best it's such an amazing idea. 
I like this tradition. Usually these wishing wells are man-made and can be found near the shopping malls. So this natural wishing well was just marvelous. The wishing well is green pond with coins 3 feet deep at the bottom. Like Dream Lake, the well also gives an illusion. However, it's reverse. The pond looks 3 to 4 feet deep, but at its deepest point it is actually 6 to 7 feet deep. So have you wondered why this green color of the pond? I know many of you must have guessed already. The green tint of the water is not a natural phenomenon, but the result of the cavern water reacting to the copper pennies. Those who visit the caverns will arrive at the wishing well towards the end of the tour. The path then proceeds to a small passage past the fried eggs rock formation as you can see in the picture and returns to the ground level through a small passage to the entrance. So overall, this place is just an amazing place. You can visit this place any time of the year. And if you have not visited any caverns before, you should add this to your to-do list. So if you have found this video useful and informative, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel because there's more to come.